up my Pete's garage. Well, we're going to continue building our 440. We've got to get our front cover on, make sure we have correct clearance between the cam cover and our cam button. We're going to put our oil pan on, we're going to powder coat and install our oil pump, and we're going to get our front the damper on and our pulleys. We're moving right along. I'm going to start this process by putting the gasket on for our timing cover. I'm just going to secure that in place with some of this high tech just to hold it in place. If you ever use high tech, you know that they call it high tech because it's super sticky. It also smells like that. If you remember when you were a kid, you used to get that plastic in the thing with a straw and you may be able to blow bubbles out of that plastic and it would harden. Well, kids today can't do that because now straws are outlawed, so they can't have the same fun we do, but that's what it kind of smells like. But it's a good thing to outlaw straws because maybe now people using cocaine will have to stop using cocaine now that straws are illegal. So, I guess that's a good thing. So we'll put this in place here. So we can set this in place so we can check the clearance for our cam button. See how stuff is messy and it's, woo, what a mess. Okay, at least it's, uh, now it's held in place. I got that really close. Now we'll check our clearance for our cam button. All right, the cam button clearance should be around uh, seven, eight, maybe up to ten thousandths. So I have a piece of red plastic gauge on there. I'm gonna put my front timing cover on. It's a little dirty already. Put the front timing cover on. Get it on the pins. Push it down. Make sure it's all set. Right where it's supposed to be. It's on nice and tight. And we'll take this off and we'll see what we got. Okay. Here's our cam button. And it just about made contact with, with the um, front cover. If I measure that, that is right at nine thousandths. So we're real, we're perfect on the cam button distance clearance between the cam thrust button and the front of the timing cover so I can put this on. Now with the button in place, I put my oil slinger on and I bought that from 440 source numbers 127-1001. I have my seal installed in my front cover with a little lube on the seal and now I can install the front cover put all the bolts in. Put the fuel pump on. This is just a standard Carter fuel pump. There is a number stamped in here. It's uh, 4862175. Standard Carter fuel pump for this. And I can put this, I have some lube on there. So I put this in against that, that uh, push rod, the fuel pump push rod. And just bolt it up.
timing tab is from 440 source. The part number is 121-1063. Our uh, damper is a Power Force damper number 80013. Uh, the bolt for the crank pulley is also from 440 source. It's 132-1000. And the pulley, the crank pulley is also from 440 source number 101-1076. This water pump housing, also from 440 Source, part number 200-1038. Water pump is from 440 source number 113-1005 and the water pump pulley for a V-belt groove is 132-1002. Okay, things are moving right along. Now all we have to do is put our valve train together, get our Valve covers on, powder coat the intake manifold, get that installed, put our distributor in, and do the wires, and we are going to be ready to start this up. If you're not a subscriber already, please click on the subscribe button so you can stay up with all the cool projects we do here, and thanks for stopping by Peace Garage.